Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of uh, the Nexus the Scarlet Nexus uh, demo Sorry to put you through such a long intro That uh, video is actually towards the end of the... Um, at the end of the demo but I figured I'd put that at the beginning, I thought it would look nicer. So, um, yeah, we'll just show some more combat, that's gonna be the main part. Because it's just epic. This combination moves with your partners are pretty cool, and uh, we're up to level 2. I actually had to chase that little monster back here before I figured out how to use the power properly. And then you also need enough energy on it to actually use it. Never actually figured out what these green things are for. Probably a tutorial that I didn't pay attention to. And here is actually one of the areas where I tried to see if we can jump onto things and have that open world feeling, but sadly it, it doesn't have that. Which is a shame, but you know, it is what it is. Can't have everything. You can see uh, my terrible fighting skills here. Yeah. That one is gone. And we have those little fast annoying buggers. I believe I left them to the end and went to take out this one first. It should be easier. Because he doesn't probably run away yet. Super speed. I pressed this way too early, really. But I actually used all the energy. I managed to knock it down and then hit it. And then use that kind of finishing move, whatever. These quick uh, time events, I was quite bad at it. Mostly not, mostly because I'm not used with the uh, video controllers. I found this uh, bull, whatever type thingy, pretty, pretty interesting. And here is one of the uh, kind of tutorial bits or move explanations. I cut most of them in this video, but I still left a couple. I think he was getting ready to charge me, but I didn't work out very well. And uh, yeah, and while we're seeing that, uh, actually, just uh, yeah, that is just epic. I love these moves. They just look so cool. So yeah, just a chance to remind everybody that according to YouTube, nearly 60% of my views are from non-subscribers. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you feel like you enjoy the, com the content somewhat, feel free to subscribe. If you didn't, then well, thanks for watching anyway. This little area was cool, because yeah, that's when you learn about uh, little sparkle power electricity things. Which is pretty cool. I love that. Just looks epic. Yeah, and we're gonna run it with a bulldozer. How cool is that? Ouch. Nice. Just beautiful. 
I wish the world was a bit pretty though, the characters are awesome and those moves are epic. But I guess uh, not enough power for everything, right? They have to prioritize what looks good. And wrecked. Again, I pressed this move way too early. Very super slow on those moves. And I didn't need to use that, it was just destroyed it, his health is pretty much gone. Let's have similar very music. Okay, let's go. <laughs> that looks so cool. So, uh, what the hell up in there? So that's kind of tutorial thing when you with that power move. Something I needed later on actually, and then I kind of forgot. And we got up to level four. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go up the stairs. Fancy tentacle monsters on there? I like how the menus are presented. They remind me of uh, Crisis. Uh, the Crisis games, for some reason. And then this, these characters are just amazing. Especially her, uh, Kasane. She's a waifu, alright. So, I didn't quite understand this, but changing members, but then something weird went here. See that? What the hell is that? Like, hello? I didn't get that. No. Anyway, moving on to the next bottle. And I didn't realize I was going after the uh, super speed ones. Very nice. Another finishing move. Really would like to see what uh, what moves you can do once you've unlocked everything. That should be pretty crazy. But uh, I'll have to wait until somebody actually plays the game, which should be coming out on the 25th of June. And see what they do when they finish the game. Should probably avoid the little water cannon. Kind of. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell to do, and uh, I guess that's what we have to do. Just throw things at them. You get to close and that is a fear. And that one is getting wrecked. Just the way we like. Nice. Get wrecked! And yeah, there were a few more dead to destroy, but I think we just got on to the next part of the fight. No, oh, no, I did actually uh, go after that one still. Yeah, So, uh, yeah, pretty cool, and then we went after the other one, but nobody wants to watch that again. So we go to the final uh, arena bit. Oh, 
僕が班長でもこれぐらいのことはできる I'm not sure what these graphical bits say if they might outdrive the Xbox or just the game. They kept happening throughout the game though. Or throughout the demo, should I say. That story is a bit weird, like. It's almost like they're making it up as it goes along. Hello. Weird looking thing. Kasane. I don't think he's impressed. Not is she. I do kind of like that line. It's a bit almost cringe, but I don't know. Still kind of works. So that character stayed transformed into, into free all the way throughout. Maybe it's her ability, I guess. I'm trying to hit, and I think just kind of dead, just about. Yeah, badly. I didn't know what I was pressing off the time. The mistake I kept doing this fight is I kept hitting at the bottom when I should be hitting above. Apparently. So I should have jumped a little bit more. But I wasn't really paying attention at the time. Paying more attention now that I'm just chilling watching it. Ooh. Too late to avoid that. But I think we have a little truck up there. And by little one, not so little. That must have hurt. And there, I should have blown up. So we got to uh, towards the end and we finally get uh, get it down. For some epic cutscene. <laughs> that arrogance. And there comes the media. Paparazzi. ね。<laughs> she wouldn't do well around Itachi. <laughs> this one, on the other hand. Hello. 
みの皆さんもぜひいらしてください<笑>やっといなくなってくれたわねみんな周防に戻りましょう了解Kasane. So, um, yeah, one last look at the characters in the menu. Or characters in your party. Which is kind of awesome. Uh, one more look at the skill tree. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it will be nice to see all these things kind of upgraded and the kind of moves that you do. Like, uh, increases sort of energy capacity and things like that. More aerial combos. That should be pretty cool as well. And um, many other things that you don't get to try in the demo. Uh, I didn't even think of upgrading things throughout the demo. That's definitely was, that definitely was a mistake on my part. Uh, I just I completely forgot about it. And I just wanted to get to the next fight and, and kick some monsters ass, basically. But uh, it, has, it has an interesting skill tree. So, um, yeah, we'll see. The game had, uh, has a few technical issues, perhaps, that need to be refined before its release. Uh, but um, overall, looks like a, a pretty fun single-player action anime team combat game. So, um, yeah, that should be, should be interesting. And hopefully I'll get to see some gameplay from YouTubers uh, when the game actually comes out. Because... Uh, I don't really buy new games because I've got too many old ones to play, but I'm really, really happy that they did the demo for us to try. So uh, thank you all for watching. See you on the next one.